What's up fight fans, thanks as always for passing by the channel. Straight off the bat, I do want to apologise, I've been slacking on the videos recently. I've just been super busy, I can't lie to you. You guys know I'm normally like, I put video out after video after video. But I've just been so busy and I've not been able to film. There are still some videos I do want to do that might be quite old considering the fights were a few years ago. But I still do want to do a video on Ahara Davis, what happens next to him. Daniel Dubois, do we have to maybe take the reins in a little bit? And a guy that's got a fight upcoming, Anthony Yard. Is it all hype? All this Lions in the camp talk, is it hype? Are we going to see him step up against someone? Is he the real deal? Could he be a future light heavyweight champion of the world? I do want to speak about Anthony Yard before he fights. So I'm going to do those videos. What's today? Today's Tuesday. I'm probably going to do those videos either tonight or tomorrow and get them out definitely um, by Wednesday or Thursday just to see what you guys think about them and what's your opinion on all three guys. Daniel Dubois, Anthony Yard and Ahara Davis. Three... Three prospects under Frank Warren. I don't know if Ahara Davis still is, but Dubois and Yard definitely are, right? All right, let's talk about this video. Dillian White versus Luis Ortiz. Now, Dillian White was definitely going to fight in December. We knew that. It was rumored to be Derek Chisora. I think they were that close to making that fight happen. We all saw the altercation between Chisora and White um, under the, I think it was a Joshua kind of public workout thing where White said, okay, look, I'll fight you, but it's five million. Derek Chisora said, you know what, no problem. Five million. And then Derek Chisora kind of whispered off camera to Eddie Hearn saying, look, I get everything else, right? White is still waiting for that five million. He's tweeted and Instagram Chisora said, look, where is the five million? Nothing seems forthcoming, so I think they've had to scrap that. And the name he wants to go after now is Luis Ortiz. Not Luis Ortiz after White, but White after Luis Ortiz, which is interesting. Luis Ortiz has kind of said, okay, look, no problem. I was supposed to fight on the Wilder versus Fury card. So I can definitely fight you in December. Let's do this. Send me the contract. I'll come to your hometown and lay the beat down on you. I love this fight. I'm a massive Derek Chisora fan. You guys know this, but Derek Chisora, as much as I'm a fan of these, it's a backward step for Dylan White. Dylan White's a guy now that's definitely in the top five. Chisora's probably not in the top 15. I know he beat Takan, but he's probably not in the top 15. So it's a big backward step. It's a huge British fight and it will do good numbers. It will probably be a sellout. But in terms of where it means and where it progresses, Dylan White to? Nowhere really. But if you look at Luis Ortiz, he's only lost once and that was to Deontay Wilder. A fight he was so close to winning. Don't forget that seventh round. It's a fight between two guys that I think are like that with each other right now. I think they're like that. I mean, if you have Wilder, Joshua and maybe Fury as the top dogs, then you've got the likes of... I don't know, Dillian White, Lewis Ortiz, even Povetkin, I know he lost once, Povetkin, all kind of, the kind of tear just under. I think Lewis Ortiz is the best after these guys, but that's my own personal opinion. So I think it's a fight that makes a lot of sense. Dillian White's grown on me, guys. I, I can't lie to you. I've done videos in the past saying look, I'm, not, I'm not a massive fan of his, um, who is he beat? I mean, we're talking about this, that, that round, that punch against Joshua. Are we just sending him on that? Is that the hype because he wobbled Joshua? But no, he's gone on to do good things and he's proved me wrong. And I'm happy to admit that he's proved me wrong big time. I didn't think he was a great boxer. I think he was a guy that slugged. But he's now kind of mixed everything together. He's got, he can slug. He can box a bit. He can definitely go to the body and he can bang. We saw what he did against Joseph Parker. And he knows how to sell a fight. Literally, he has every single ingredient I like. But the one ingredient I like more than anything, he's real. He's real. In a world where a lot of boxers are kind of fake, where the beef is quite fake, we've seen it with the Wilder and um, Fury build-up, Dylan White don't fuck about. Dylan White is as real as they come. I think we all saw um, when he was reporting for Sky uh, during the Anthony Joshua Povetkin fight, and Anthony Joshua said, where are you, Dylan White? He was livid. He was livid to be talking to Sky. He's like, I shouldn't be here. Why am I here? I should be there. I gravitate to that. So even if... Dylan White wasn't a great boxer. Even if Dylan White wasn't a guy in the top five. Even if Dylan White wasn't a guy that I think could win a world title. I gravitate to him because I think he's real. And there's not many boxers right now that are like that. And I like that. In Lewis Ortiz, and I've said this to you guys before and some people have ridiculed me. I think we have the best boxer in the heavyweight division. I, I've said this. I know he might be getting on an age. I know he's a bit old now. I know he's probably not what he was in his 30s, but he moves around the ring like a light heavyweight. And I think of all the heavyweights right now, he's literally head and shoulders above them all when it comes to boxing skill and boxing ability. Picks his punches, footwork is fantastic, goes to the body, goes to the head, double jabs, does all the things that you would almost associate with a middleweight or a cruiserweight or a light heavyweight. Not a heavyweight. Heavyweights are just known to bang, 
right? That's what they're there for. One punch knockouts. He does a bit of everything. And he's still a fantastic boxer. And I think the heavyweight division is lucky that this guy isn't 31 32 because I think he would literally destroy everyone. And I mean that. I'm not joking. Um, but it's a great fight between these two. Fingers crossed it happens. Um, it is risky for Dillian White because this is a tough fight. It will physically be a tough fight as well. And if they are talking about him possibly fighting Joshua in April, I don't know if that's enough time to turn around. It probably is because the money's going to be great. He'll probably do it anyway if he wins. And if you're Lewis Ortiz, I mean, you're right back in there. I mean, who is he going to fight in December? You're right back in there. You fight Dillian White, pay-per-view, O2 Arena, a sellout. You smash Dillian White. You don't, I don't know. I'm not trying to say he will. This isn't a prediction video. You beat Dillian White. I mean, why can't you fight Joshua in April? Why can't you? Right? So it puts him right back in there. It's a great fight. Hats off to Dillian White if he does do it. Fingers crossed he does. Um, I hope he does. Would this be Dillian White's third fight this year? When did he fight Lucas Brown? I've not even got my laptop with me. When did he fight Lucas Brown? I think he fought Lucas Brown this year. I think. If he did, I like that. That's another reason I like him. When everyone's going for one or two fights, Dillian White looks like he's going to have three fights this year. Lucas Brown, Joseph Parker, Lewis Ortiz. That's not a bad run. That's not a bad run. I mean, going into the Lucas Brown fight, everyone was like, okay, Dillian White's favourite, but Lucas Brown could catch him. Then you take another step up when you fight Joseph Parker. And then you're probably going to take another step up if it happens to fight Lewis Ortiz. You've got to applaud that. You could not be a boxing fan and not like Dillian White now. You've got to love his aggression. He's a throwback fighter. When fighters say they will fight anyone, BS. When Dylan White says he'll fight anyone, it's fucking true. I love Dylan White. He's honestly one of my favourite fighters right now just because of that. Um, he's not PC when I think of... And this is not me dissing AJ because, you know, guys, I'm a big AJ fan. But when I see AJ's interviews, I'm like... <sighs> boring answers. And I see Dylan White's interviews and I'm thinking, thank God you've not been media trained. You are what you are and I love it. And what it does do is what well, this generally means it's a shootout to either face the winner of Wild and Fury or to face Joshua in April. And, and you got to love that, right?